Never give a guinea pig a bath. Why? It's not natural. They don't need it. It will make them sick. Guinea pigs are self-cleaning. Really? <laughs> you ready for a bath? Hey, it's Scotty, and I'm with Pippi, and we're going to do a bath for him. He's got a kind of reoccurring case of fungal feet, and it's been a while, but there is this controversy online about whether or not you should bathe your guinea pigs. Now, at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, where I'm a volunteer, we don't recommend that you bathe your pigs every day or every week, but if they are dirty, then go ahead and bathe them. Bibi, are you supervising? Now, I'm not saying that you should bathe your guinea pigs every day or even every week, but if they're in a travel carrier for some reason and they get dirty, or if you notice that they have fungal feet or ringworm, it's totally appropriate to bathe your piggies. Making sure the water temperature is not too hot and not too cold by feeling it and making sure that it's water that you would want to take a bath in. A little warmer, Pippi. Another part of the controversy is that you shouldn't use anything that wasn't designed specifically for guinea pigs. But let's face it, there's not many shampoos or soaps that are designed for guinea pigs. You can use a, a pet safe or a pet specific antifungal shampoo. There are a number of very gentle pet shampoos, but you can also use head and shoulders. It works great. I use it for myself, especially when my beard gets out of control. I just use it as a beard wash, I use it after I handle the piggies, and just in general, I've found that it's a very safe and gentle shampoo. And it has a pyrithione zinc ingredient that kills fungus, so that's what we're doing today. In a situation like this, I just pour some directly into the water, and then he can soak. It doesn't take much, and it takes about five minutes. Okay, hold on. You got five minutes to soak, baby. And if you're bathing for ringworm or fungus, you don't want to use conditioner. I'm going to put the camera down and use both hands. But in the taming section of my free guinea pig care guide on my website, there is a really in-depth bathing video. So I hope you'll check that out. Now, I'm not sure how or why this controversy got started. We bathe dogs. Of course, I guess most people don't bathe cats. But if your cat was covered in dirt or grime or worse, wouldn't you try to clean them off <laughs> that's why I said it's all in moderation and when it comes to blow drying you want to be really gentle and you want to make sure that the air is not too hot or not too harsh and that's why I always put my hand on the piggies in between the air and the piggies so I can feel how hot the air is you can just wrap your piggies in a towel and wait about 30 minutes. Make sure to keep them warm and they will dry on their own. But a hair dryer is much faster. And some piggies don't seem to mind it. Pippi, you look so fluffy now. <laughs> you look so fluffy. Huh? One last thing, a little antifungal cream on the hands and feet. We did it. You smell nice and clean now. So I don't know where this controversy started. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas and what's your position on it. It just seems like having a hard rule that you should never bathe your piggies ever seems just crazy. So I'll put a link to that other bathing video right up here. <laughs> you ready to go home? Okay, until next time, thanks for watching. Okay, okay, come on. Ready? There you go.